Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Maddie and today, if you couldn't tell by the title, we are doing a vegan mukbang Q&A. <laughs> Today I have some food from Cactus & Co. It's a vegan, I guess, junk food or just vegan fast food place here in Montevideo, Uruguay. And I ordered from this place a lot more than I would like to admit. And I thought, why not sit down, answer a few of your commonly asked questions while I tuck in. At the time of filming this video, it is early June and I haven't posted a latex video in a long time. But after filming this, Mukbang, I am going to be filming a few more videos tonight, so I'm not sure what order they're going to go up in But I will make sure to link my like latex playlist down below if you want to go check out what videos are already up by the time you're seeing this But today I have a little vegan hot dog with some onion rings in here The onion rings are the best. I am obsessed with onion rings Honestly, I could eat them like every day, but it's super not good for you and then I also have a vegan pizza in here. It's a person pizza, so just tomato, cheese, and some like greens on top. So really excited about this. I honestly order from this place a lot whenever we're wanting junk food because it's one of the few places near where I live that do good, solid vegan junk food. I don't normally eat both, but for the sake of this video, I thought why not order both? I'll easily eat all of this and then like a slice or two of the pizza and then I'll just save the rest for tomorrow. So if you want to watch me tuck into some of this food and answer some of your commonly asked questions, then just keep on watching. I also have some Coke here. Yes, it's in a Starbucks cup, but it's not coffee. Mm. I'm also filming with a pretty bright studio light right now, and I'm sitting pretty close to my window, so it's as far away as it can be right now. But I'm just going to have to deal with the glare. It makes the latex look good. It is nighttime, so I can't really turn it off because then the quality will just go to garbage but let's start off with some of the onion rings I always eat these first because otherwise they go cold mm. crispy and delicious I'm also pretty new to the whole like idea of a mukbang the only other time I've done one here on YouTube it was live so let me know if you want me to cut out most of the eating and like the, the mouth sounds because I know for a lot of people that can be really triggering and annoying so trigger warning i am gonna be chewing my food i'll see how i go and how much of it i actually leave in but let's get into the first question okay question number one i get asked this anytime i do a live video whether that's on youtube or on tiktok or instagram for that matter or anytime i post anything anywhere and that is when am i filming more latex videos the answer is tonight like I said, after this video, I have one or maybe two other videos to film. But how often are you going to be seeing latex on my YouTube channel? It's probably once or twice at most a month. I'm aiming to do at least one latex based video every month on this channel and also maybe a few um, like of the shorts as well because I do make videos for Instagram and TikTok as well. So they're just like the 60 second or less videos. So I've already been uploading quite a few of my older ones to this channel. And I know a bunch of you have already been watching and liking them and appreciating that content. Some of them of course are copyrighted because if I've synced it to music for TikTok, then it kind of, I'd either have to re-edit it and take the music out and add different music in or just accept the fact that it's copyrighted and it's not going to be monetizable, but it is what it is. I thought, why not share the content here since I've already made it and I know not everyone follows me on all platforms. But if you do want to be seeing more latex content, always make sure to follow my Instagram, which is just Maddie underscore Luca underscore. My TikTok, which is I think the same tag, which is Maddie Luca. And of course, also my Patreon, I always post over there like behind the scenes stuff, extended videos. I'm also planning on doing more like long latex videos, for example, like like a 30 minute or a one hour, like cleaning my house in my latex or something like that. I've had quite a few requests to do stuff like that. So if that's your thing and that's what you're into, 
then definitely subscribe over on Patreon. It starts at only $8 a month. And I do have higher tiers if you want to see more content, more photos, all that kind of thing. But the base tier is only $8 and I definitely think it's worth it. So it's always linked in the description box of my videos. Go check it out if you are curious. Okay, now time for the hot dogs. They always wrap it up. And then our foil. Honestly, these are pretty hit or miss. They're either delicious or <laughs> really dodgy, but the onion rings are always good. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, see this one, they really went to town on the sauce, which is good, but it is messy. Also, the hot dog is like weirdly long. <laughs> it's like longer than the bread, which is strange. I guess that's how you know that it's homemade. I also have some little mini pickles that I like to just add myself. Normally you can order it with pickles, but they were out with pimientos, pimientos? I think that's cucumber. It's pretty similar to cucumber and pickle, I guess, because it's literally like the same vegetable, but I always like to add them. Are you a pickle fan or do you hate them? I feel like it's either one or the other. And before anyone asks me in the comments how long I have been vegan for, since I think 2016 is when I went vegan. So that was like four, almost five years ago now, which is crazy to think about. I've been vegetarian since I was like 12 years old though, so that's a lot longer. I, it's been, I have spent more of my life not eating meat than I have eating meat. So yeah, that's kind of crazy. But this is my hot dog plus the little pickles on top. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, they got to good this time. Mm. I'm trying to think what's another commonly asked question. Mm. So when am I wearing more latex? I already answered that. Confidence for wearing latex in public. I think I'm gonna do a whole separate video answering that, so stick around for that very soon. Another one I get asked a lot is do I wear latex in public? And the answer lately is no, but I have worn latex in public in the past and I would again, but genuinely I just don't go out much. If you follow me on my vlog channel, you'll know that there's been a bit of issues with like my residency in the country and therefore getting the vaccine for COVID. And because of that, we don't really get out and see that many people. So yeah, I don't really have anywhere to go and I'm not just gonna like, walk around in latex to the supermarket. But when I was going out like clubbing like a year and a half ago now, I did sometimes wear latex out in public, um, even just at the supermarket, my black leggings, I feel like they're pretty inconspicuous. If you watch my 24 hour latex video, you'll know that I did go out in them like the whole day in the leggings then. So yeah, I do wear it out in public, but not currently, mostly just because I have nowhere to go. But to be fair, I probably wouldn't go out in public in a full cat suit, just because it's not really my thing. Like maybe on Halloween or um, for like a real special occasion, or if I was doing like a photo shoot, then that's a bit different. But just to like do normal everyday activities, I probably wouldn't wear a cat suit, but I would. <laughs> Okay, my memory card filled up, so I had to quickly swap it out. But what I was saying is I have and would again wear the top and the leggings out in public, as well as the dresses. I would wear a dress out like to a club or even out to dinner. If I styled it real cute, but I wouldn't wear a cat suit unless it was like a really special occasion. I'm also really obsessed with vegan mayonnaise, so I have some in here for the onion rings. And then I also sometimes put it on my Hot dog. Mm, 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 mm. Is this the healthiest meal ever? Absolutely not. Let's just say there's a reason why I'm posting this video over here and not on my nutrition channel. But I am a big creature of intuitive eating, not restricting yourself and just, you know, the anti-diet approach, I guess. And if I want to have a vegan hot dog, then I'm going to have a vegan hot dog and a vegan pizza. Mm. Another question I get asked all the time is who do I follow on Instagram, like latex wise and who my favorite brands are. So I guess just starting out with the brands, I will say that I haven't tried out that many yet. 
and always looking to try out new brands. So especially if you know of any small latex businesses, please comment the names down below and I will check them out. I know of all the big ones like Lividex and all that kind of thing, but I'm really looking for like smaller, independently run like small businesses that I can contact and hopefully will want to partner with me. For example, Tightside Latex. I know they're relatively new. I think she's been making latex for about a year now and I follow her on Instagram and love all her pieces. I am hoping to maybe set up like a collaboration with her for a video. So, so if you'd be interested in seeing me try on some of Tightside Latex's um, new pieces, then definitely go follow her over on Instagram and comment under all the pictures that she shared. Work with me, tag me in them, um, all that kind of thing. And maybe that'll convince them to send me some pieces that I can try on and share with you all. But otherwise, the only brands that I've actually ever tried in person are Honor UK. So of course, this corset is from Honor. I will link the haul down below. Back from October, so Halloween last year, when I got a whole bunch of new stuff from them. They will always be one of my favorites just because they were the first ones to ever reach out to me and offer to send me some stuff to try. And because it was the first latex I ever wore, it's always gonna have a special place in my heart. And their pieces are really affordable and genuinely amazing quality. I mean, I think this little latex corset looks amazing personally. And every time I wear one of their pieces, I always get so many compliments. So this was the first place I ever tried. And then Honey Burdette. I actually don't know where the company is based, but they have lingerie stores in Australia. So I just bought them in store in Australia. I had some leggings and also some hot pants. Unfortunately, they're both still in Australia. I'm hoping to have my mom or my sister ship them to me soon if I can't actually fly back home anytime soon to pick them up. And then of course the third place I've ever tried is Vex Latex. They're definitely on the more pricey side. They're less into the more intense stuff and more into the fashion, I believe, but I think you can get both on the website and it is a little bit more expensive. So I don't know that I would buy from them again. I've also had some issues with like the lighter colored latex getting stained and my black gloves from them do have a small like, rip in them. I believe I am too nervous to put them on again because I just know the next time I try to wear them, it will rip. So I need to purchase like a latex repair kit. Um, so yeah, don't know that I'll buy from them again just because the stuff was so expensive and I don't necessarily think it is better quality than like on a UK or somewhere else whose prices are a lot cheaper. <clears throat> oh my god, pardon me. I don't know if I'm going to leave that in or if I'm going to cut that out. But anyway, so those are the three brands that I've personally tried. But if you have any other suggestions that you would love to see me wearing, then comment down below. And remember that latex is super expensive. So while everyone always wants me to have new pieces and show you new items, if I'm purchasing them myself, it costs me a lot of money. So please like this video, subscribe to my channel, comment down below. And even better if you have a Twitter or a Facebook or like a friendship group, just like share my videos around. Because the more views these videos get, not only the more money am I gonna make from the ads if YouTube actually lets me monetize them, but also the more people are gonna see them and the more companies are going to be open to working with me and sending me gorgeous latex goodies that I can try on for you. I also get a lot of questions about like specific styling tips for latex. I feel like I've made quite a few videos on this already, but I do have more plans, including one or two for later tonight. So stick around for those. They'll either already be up by the time you're seeing this, in which case I'll link to in the description box or they'll be coming out very soon. But if you do have specific questions, then always comment them down below and I'll be sure to answer them in a future video. You know, I think I'm gonna have a piece of the pizza now. It's probably cold by now, honestly, but that's fine. I think I'll just have one slice and that will be enough for me today, especially since I'm literally wearing a corset that's like sucking in <laughs> my rib cage. So there's not too much room in here, but vegan pizza, smiling for the thumbnail. Another question I have been asked a few times is, would I ever make latex clothes myself. I think because I have made a few sewing videos in the past and I do love sewing and fashion design, I get asked this question. And while I would love to, there's a big difference between sewing normal flat fabrics and like making clothes out of latex. 
the main one being that you need to use like glue and not stitching. And the second one being that the fabric is a lot harder to come by, especially living here in Uruguay, there's no way I would get started with that unless I find like a wholesale importer. But um, purchasing like anything online here is near impossible. So I don't know where I would get the, like, the raw latex from. Um, I know like tight side, she just started her, I don't even know what her real name is. I'll put it up on the screen if I figure it out, but she started off like a small business out of, I believe like the Netherlands or maybe not Netherlands. But she's definitely based somewhere in Europe and that makes it a lot easier to get your hands on latex because I feel like the European latex scene is a lot bigger. Here in South America, it like doesn't really exist. Latex is not a big thing here. Like at all, so you can't really buy anything locally, and imports into Uruguay is just like a freaking nightmare. So, yeah, um, maybe one day, just for like the sake of trying it out, would I ever sell it? Who knows? But making it for myself just for fun, I probably will give it a try when I'm back in Australia. But um, yeah, living here, it just makes everything so much more complicated. I think that's about all the food that I can physically fit inside this corset, which again is from Honor UK. If you want to go check it out, I'll have it linked down below. I did have a discount code for them also. That was back in October, so I'm not sure if it will still work, but I believe it was just Maddie Luca. But on the site, they sell women's and men's PVC latex, um, also accessories and all sorts of stuff. So there's something for everyone on the site. I will have the website link down below as well as this um, corset for anyone who is curious. If my link no longer worked, then I apologize, but I did have, I think, 10% off back in October. Who knows, but still valid. Once again, if you want to see more content with On UK, make sure to go and follow them on Instagram, comment on all their posts that you love when I wear their pieces and that you would love them to send me some more because that way it really helps the brands to know who to work with in the future and who's following actually cares and are engaged in the products. So I've got seven eighths of a pizza left and that is gonna be my lunch for tomorrow because there is genuinely no way I can eat it all today. So I'm gonna wrap this video up here. Thank you for watching. If you do have more questions, just let me know and I can definitely make a part two next month or the one after that and answer all the rest of your questions. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Of course, subscribe if you're not already and you wanna see more content from me. All my other links, including Instagram, TikTok, Patreon, and other paid sites are linked in the description box if you wanna go check them out. But that's it for the mukbang. I will see you really soon with more content. Bye. <laughs> Welcome to a month in my life. This was me. 30th of April we actually got the new keys to our new apartment but with public holidays and weekends that meant that to try to move in ASAP and not be paying double rent let's just say the start of the month was pretty hectic I was gonna try again